Alright, we are back. What's up you guys? Hope you guys are having a great day today. I'm Isaac and today I'm going to be talking about the Doc Martens Adrian Loafers. So the idea of the series Doc Martin vs. Solver is this to help you guys give a better understanding between what a Doc Martin is and what a Solver is and just to compare those two different shoes like the leather, the different key features that they have and just what the overall experience is like for like a Doc Martin or like a Solver shoe. One of the main reasons why I bought this shoe was just so I could experiment with this different type of style. I've never really worn like shoes that look like this, like Doc Martens do. So it's just really cool just to experiment with a different type of style that Doc Martens offers. And just, yeah, I mean, like I've never really been too big on loafers and this is really cool just to be involved in that world. Yeah, so for the next episode that I plan on doing, it's gonna be the Solver Boots. And one thing I do really hope is that these boots are really comfortable just because these Doc Martens, I honestly thought whenever I first bought them, I thought they were really good. But then as I got to wear them or wear them, it wasn't as what I thought it was whenever I first bought it. But I'll get back to that like later in the video. Yeah, so one of the main reasons why I bought this shoe was to so I could experiment with my personal style. I'm more of like a streetwear type of guy. And I've seen like some cool TikToks of people that have like a streetwear style styling Doc Martens. So I thought like it was just cool just to like try to buy this shoe and to see what I could like learn from it and see what different types of outfits I could pull off with it. And I'm honestly really glad that I made this purchase just because I feel like it could help like, elevate my style. As for the materials of the Doc Martin Adrian Loafers, it's a very durable leather. It's like really stiff straight from the start. And it's a smooth leather that looks like it could be shined up or not, but I personally like the real grungy and just like the rough type of look. Yeah, I don't see myself polishing this shoe anytime soon, but I mean, this leather is, it's okay. It's not the best leather. It's still very stiff. I mean, like I've had the shoe for like the past two, three weeks now and i thought it would break in by now the shoe the toe box air is breaking in a little bit you can see the leather it's like sort of creasing i mean, I mean but like other than that like it's not really it's still pretty stiff and so it's built in a classic smooth leather with a double tassel as you can see here this is probably my favorite feature out of the whole entire shoe either that or the classic dog martin lining it's like a yellow orange lining the tassel is definitely my favorite feature out of everything this whole entire shoe. And as for the outsole, it's a two-tone grooved outsole. And the one problem, or mainly the biggest problem that Doc Martens has is that you can't resole it. You can't resole the shoe whenever the, the outsole grows or goes like bad and gets worn out. You can't do that. But with Solivers you can, so that's why I'm hoping that Solivare is a better that's that's my theory that Solivare, the reason why Solivare will be better or why I'll like it more is because I can resole the bottom of the shoe. But I don't know, only time will tell, so we'll just have to wait and see until the next video. Or until I do my final comparison between the Doc Martin and Solver. But you guys will have to wait for that video because like that video probably won't come out for like maybe like a month. I don't know. We'll see. I've been spending a lot of money, so I need to like relax on my, my spending. It says here on the Doc Martin website that it's constructed by Goodyear Welted. And the upper and sole are heat sealed and sewn together, which provides comfort and durability for years to come. I don't know if that's true or not. Well, honestly, like I'll just have to wait and see because this is my first ever pair of Doc Martens. All right, so as for sizing and comfort on this shoe, it's... <laughs> it was fun for like the first couple of days whenever I first had it. I thought it was like really comfortable, but then as I really like started to wear it more and more, like my feet were hurting like really hurting like towards like my it was mainly my big toe that was like really suffering yeah like i had blisters on my big toe right after i took off my shoe and yeah it was it was not fun and i honestly thought that these shoes were going to break in a lot easier but they didn't i have a friend that has dog martens too and i asked her this question like how is like the is it are they comfortable do you like them have they like broken in and she's like, nah, they <laughs> they haven't broken in and she wears them all the time. So that's just really surprising that the leather hasn't broken in yet. There has to be something like that Doc Martin is not doing right. Just cause like the leather's not breaking in. Like I know throughout like the seventies and then early nineties that Doc Martens were like super comfortable and they're like 
that's whenever they're at the top of the game and they're in their prime but now i've been seeing a lot of issues that these shoes they're not breaking in properly and i don't know only time will have to tell but yeah i do think they're really stylish so that's like the biggest thing that i'll give them so i am a size 10 and a half in almost all my shoes and whenever i went to the doc martin store they only had it i think they only come in full sizes so there's a 10 and 11 at first i tried the 11 11 fit like a little bit too big and keep in mind I have like a really wide foot so whenever I put on that shoe it felt really big so I would recommend like if you're a half size just to go just go down a size if you're like a maybe like a 10 I would recommend this to go down a size just because like these shoes are they fit pretty big and even now they still fit a little bit big or not really but I feel like if you have some really thick socks like you'll it'll be perfectly fine Yeah, so as for the performance of the shoe, I recently went to go do an interview with Andrew from Puas, New York. If you guys haven't seen that video, it's my latest video, go check it out. It was a really fun video that I did. But I was wearing this Adrian loafers from Doc Martin, and whenever I first got them, they were like really comfortable, right? And then as like the interview passed, like that's whenever I really started to feel like the effects of the, the leather and how stiff they were. But like by the end of the day, I didn't have blisters, but it wasn't until like I really started to wear the shoe more often that that's when I really started to get these blisters and that's whenever like the shoe started to hurt. So what I would recommend if you guys wear this shoe the whole day, just bring like another pair of like some shoes that you think are really comfortable just so you guys could feel comfortable throughout the day cause like you guys do not want to get these blisters, they're not, they're not fun at all. So yeah, just like bring another pair of shoes alongside these shoes if you're gonna wear these all day. But if you're not, you should be fine. Just wear some like really thick socks. So as for the pros and cons, I mean, I'm pretty sure you guys could already tell by the way I sounded like throughout this whole video. So the biggest pro that I'll give them is that these shoes, they're really, you can style them in like a lot of different ways. This is like really cool about Doc Martens. They're really fashionable and you can pull off a lot of different cool looks. But the cons, man, the cons. So the cons of this shoe is that they're not that comfortable, like, the leather takes forever to break in. I mean, I've had these shoes for three weeks, like I said, and they haven't broken in. So I'm just like hoping, I'm praying that these shoes break in, but I don't know, only time will have to tell. I'll probably do like another video of me reviewing the shoes six months later, just to see, compare the difference from whenever I first bought them to like six months later. But yeah, those are like the two biggest pros and cons that I'll give these shoes. Yeah, this. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is a nice, like, short little video. This is like a video for me to come back. I haven't really made these type of videos in like a really long time. It's been like a month now. So this feels really good to be back. And yeah, man, I'm like, I'm excited to see what the future has in store for this channel. And I have a lot of interesting content coming up. If you guys have any questions, just comment it down below. I have my Instagram link in the description. So you guys should go check that out too. I have some really cool rolls that are coming out very soon. I'm going to the Drake concert this Sunday, so just stay in tune. I have, an, like a, I have a pretty cool video coming out for that. But yeah, just thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Wait, wait. Also, one more thing. Don't forget to watch the next video because that's like episode. It's going to be episode three, yeah. That's going to be whenever I review the Solivare boots. I'm really excited for that video because I'm going to be able to tell whether I like Solivare or Doc Martens more. So I think that'll be really interesting and I think you guys will like that too. So yeah, just thank you guys so much for watching.